Thank you, Father Korski, Father Becker, Reverend Fathers, any, other, any honored guests, and my dear brothers. My vocation story begins, like many of you in this room, in the home. I was raised in a strong Catholic family, but despite this, priesthood was never really on my mind from a young age. It wasn't until I was in high school that I began to actively discern the priesthood. My youth minister at the time brought a high school fraternity called the Knights of the Holy Temple to my parish. I know there are a number of guys in this room right now who could testify to their experiences with the Knights and how it's helped them in their own discernment. For me, it was through my time with the Knights that I grew in my love for the Mass, I grew in my love for Jesus in the Eucharist, and without realizing it, I was growing in, love for the, in my love for the priesthood. In my junior year, my youth minister invited all the men in the Knights up to go to St. John Vianney for a Vianney visit. And I wasn't really, at this point, I still wasn't thinking about the priesthood, but I knew that having a four-day weekend sounded like a pretty good deal, so I decided to go. The one thing that I remember most from this visit was how much this place truly felt like home to me. However, as my mom tells me when I got back, when I was asked how the visit went, I responded, great, but I can never be a priest because they pray way too much. <laughs> After the visit, I had thought that I had done my part in discernment, and I decided, and since I still didn't feel called to the priesthood, I decided to make my own plans for my future. However, on Divine Mercy Sunday of my junior year, all of this changed. After going to confession that day, the priest that I was with told me to go pray, Lord, show me the way to your peace. So after confession, I went back to my pew, knelt down, looked at Jesus in the monstrance, and began to pray, Lord, show me the way to your peace. Lord, show me the way to your peace. And sure enough, he did. In that moment, I experienced the Lord's love for what seemed like the first time in my life. And I heard him tell me that the way to his peace was the priesthood. I was experiencing God's love in such a powerful way, but as soon as this moment passed, I felt the fear rushing in because I realized that the Lord's plans for my life did not match the plans I had made for myself. In a way, I felt like my world was tumbling down around me. Out of this fear of the priesthood, I ran away from the calling. At this point, I had already made up my mind. I was going to Northern Illinois University, I was gonna study environmental science, and that was it. But my mom, however, wasn't sold. She wanted me to go on a visit to the school before I committed. I remember the visit being absolutely miserable. I received information on my major and suddenly it wasn't appealing at all. I was walking around campus and I just could not envision myself being there. But above all, I did not feel the way that I felt on my first Vianney visit. It did not feel like home for me. It was because of this visit that I realized that I could not run any longer. I knew that what the Lord had planned for me was far better than anything I could have planned for myself. So I, made the, so I decided to follow him. In my time here, I've been grateful to have the opportunity to pray about my experiences and my story. I'm, I'm thankful for all the ways that the Lord has worked in my life to bring me to this place I'm at today. He has shown me how in many ways I've really been discerning the priesthood throughout my entire life, even though I may not have been aware of it. I'm thankful for my parents for passing on the gift of the faith to me. I'm thankful to my youth minister and all the great priests in my life who have shown me what a true, authentic, holy priesthood looks like. But above all, I'm thankful to God for bringing me to this place where I can truly say with great confidence, praise be Jesus Christ. Now and forever.